hey guys welcome back to another motivational cleaning and organizing video today I managed to deep clean my entire kitchen clean the fridge the cupboards did some redecorating grocery shopping and organize the entire space just setting up the kitchen for the new month I got a ton of um, cleaning cloths and sponges of different um, designs that I needed that I want to try out. So these ones I think I got them at Quick Mart. Um, they are a bit rougher than the usual sponge that we're used to. So these are also cleaning cloths. I got them from Miniso and they have a different texture from the microfiber ones um, that I normally use. So I really wanted to try them out um, together with this set of sponges. I also got these ones at Miniso and these are the two that I really want to try out. Um, today so I'll give you guys my review on the new sponges and cleaning cloth. I'm starting with the fridge, it's due for a deep clean. I'm checking if there are any expired products in there, removing everything then I clean it up. I try to do this at least every end month before restocking for the new month. I'm washing all the fridge compartments first so that as they dry I'll be cleaning the rest of the fridge. I'm going over the fridge twice. First, it's with the new cleaning cloths from Miniso. They have a rough texture, perfect for light scrubbing, and of course, I'm using my vinegar mix to clean. Secondly, I will use a microfiber cloth and vinegar mix again, kind of like rinsing it out. If you come across these cleaning cloths, I highly recommend grabbing a pack, they're really effective. I am also concentrating on the rubber part of the fridge. This is where bacteria and mold builds up, so I'm taking my time with it. Up 
I also clean the freezer part same way as the bottom part. I have been procrastinating on scrubbing the front part of the fridge for months. We had some stickers here that left some glue behind. I got this scraper from Carrefour, best thing I've ever bought. It's made work 10 times easier for me. Just soap the surface first before using it to avoid scratches. To clean my cupboards, I'm using the Astonish Antibacterial Surface Cleaner. This is from their new special aromatic edition. Love the scent a lot. The entire kitchen was smelling really amazing and it cleans really, really well. Definitely a fan of this new special aromatic editions from Astonish. To clean my appliances, I'm using my vinegar mix. The mix makes them shine better. I cleared out this shelf because I wanted to reorganize and redecorate it. To clean it, I used the Astonish Grease Lifter instead. The open shelves get greasy a lot, being next to the cooker and all. I also removed the clock to clean, it had some grease stains on it too. Are three products I will highly recommend to have in your kitchen. That is the vinegar mix, which is quarter vinegar, three quarter water, and essential oil, which is optional, in a spray bottle. Astonish degreaser and astonish antibacterial surface cleaner. Top all that with a scraper. Your life will be very very simple when it comes to cleaning. Surely get burned if you reach out and touch My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Under the place where all this began Just start again I'll see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done I managed to clean the backsplash and light fixtures too, makes such a huge difference.
I washed all the dishes off camera and now I want to clean all these glass jars. I got rid of all the spaces I had stored in them because I lost track of the expiring date. I won't use them again to store spices or even buy new spices. In this house we use pepper, salt, rico and chili cubes only. Occasionally salad seasoning, pilau masala and chicken masala. By the time this video was done, I ended up throwing a lot of expired products. I have to be more careful with my shopping from now on. Only get what we really need at that moment because we are wasting a lot and I really felt bad throwing so much. Last thing I'm doing for the day is cleaning all the kitchen towels I have used plus my lunch bag. It was a bit stained so I used the Dr. Beckman stain remover brush first. I am using Oxy Bleach, Astonish Concentrated Disinfectant, Gamma Liquid Detergent and for settings I'm using Quick Wash on Intensive Wash plus Extra Rinse. Next day I started by organizing the spice cupboard, the top part I will organize after I go for monthly shopping. I decorated the open shelf and set up the cooker too. We also got a new grater, um, this one has six sides, six sides, yeah, six sides and we got it at Rosotti got it at Rosetti um, it was I think 895 the other one we have is a bit flimsy so we had to get a new one and this is a carrot pillar or potato pillar whatever it is it's a pillar also from Rosetti I actually think I'm responsible for by mistakenly uh, throwing our other one we used to have another one exactly like this but you can't trace it so i'm thinking i either peeled something and i threw it out with trash <laughs> unfortunately so i had to uh, buy another one because my hubby really uses this a lot he's a fan of carrots so he's always uh, peeling carrots we also got a salt um this is not a salt shaker okay it's a pepper meal you can use it for either whole peppers or whole salt but you want to use it for whole salt we we actually saw it at Ankole. They supplied to Ankole restaurant. Uh, we used it. We really liked it, and we had to go grab what ourselves uh, one. And then I got this really tiny um, dish dish set from Miniso. I want to use this to do like the ginger ginger garlic paste i want to store them in this and put them in the fridge um i'll be doing that tomorrow in the meal prep video and i got some oven mittens from kalax house deco i really love in art uh pattern on it so it comes a pair a set of two i got them at kalax house i will link her in the description box down below and she gifted me something actually she gifted me this fancy matches so they're 11 centimeters use this part to light the match stick so the i thought this is really cute by the way and i know she has them in a, like a bigger bigger pack than this so this one's are 11 centimeters long um, at least these ones will be perfect for lighting my candles around the house. So again, um, they're from Kalax 
home decor which i will link in the description box down below so i organize the rest of like our beef cubes and uh, chicken cubes here and some whole spices um so this one i'm going to put it in this cupboard right over here I stumbled upon these really cute mini baking trays. I got two pink circular ones and two yellow rectangular ones. We'll put them at the first shelf in case I need to grill or bake something small first. They serve as cute deco pieces too. My new floral kitchen towels are from CK Home Styles. They're really big. I didn't expect that, but I really love the size. I managed to do some grocery shopping for at least the next two and a half weeks. I'm going to wash all these and store them in the fridge. As for the onions and tomatoes, I'm going to store them in the grocery cupboard. I'm trying but can't scratch the surface So keep my mouth shut and not listen I'm afraid I lost you if I didn't Anything that came in a container I cleaned it first before putting them in the fridge You can use vinegar mix to wipe them by the way Same goes to the rest of the other vegetables. I have to clean them before storing them in the fridge. To clean my vegetables, I'm using the bio vegetable wash. You can get this at Carrefour. Then I will leave them here to completely dry. The collapsible bucket I'm using has a drain hole at the bottom, by the way. For the coriander, I will just put them in a tin with water instead of in the fridge because I know I'll cook them either today or tomorrow so there's no need of storing them in the fridge, they'll still be fresh. Under the sink, I'm just arranging my cleaning sponges and changing the trash bag. I cleared and cleaned the area off camera. I 
I normally wrap my capsicums and cauliflower with clean flim, they last longer in the fridge. The ones I have not wrapped, I'm planning to cook with them tomorrow. The white containers I'm using help me store them neatly in the fridge. I like how I managed to declutter my counter but they made the kitchen even look slightly bigger. I just hope it stays this way. Come in, come in. I can sit you by the fire. Listen, listen. There's something I must confide. I know I said that it'd be fine. I know I made it look like it'd be alright. I think I learned my lesson and I'm not gonna let you out of my sight You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter Next, I'm wiping down the last of the kitchen cupboards and scrubbing the sink I clean the dish rack off camera As you look into my eyes Nothing but a sinner Today I'm trying the baking soda and vinegar hack for my sink drains. Normally I just pour bleach down the drain. This works perfectly too. Last thing I'm doing is folding all the kitchen towels I washed yesterday, then I vacuum and mop. My new yellow kitchen mat is from Smart Lady Homes. <laughs> 